Tonight, firefighters are staying very busy across the area, putting out those flames ignited by fireworks. Because of the dry drought conditions and then leftover 4th of July fireworks, they're still causing several brush fires. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf in spring tonight with the fire department, Department 77. Matthew, are they still getting calls involving fireworks? Yeah, Rashi, they are. Even today, after the 4th of July, they're still getting those calls involving fireworks starting fires. It's quiet right now, but they're ready for a busy night. We have a fire over there. Brush fires igniting across Texas. Studer Park in Houston's Heights Monday night. Fort Worth canceling the city's fireworks show after just minutes. Flames growing out of control. It has been so dry that it's... It, Grass fires are super easy to start with fireworks and they'll spread like crazy. Since Friday, the Spring Fire Department has responded to 25 outside fires. This home in Fox Hollow destroyed, ignited by a firework. In a neighborhood like this, you have no idea, especially like I said with the aerials, you have no idea where they're going to end up. Just the launch of the mortar can start a fire and then the mortar it itself can be hot enough to start a fire after the fact. For the last few months, Texas has been bone dry. Much of the state in a drought now under burn bans. There's a real big chance of things getting out of control because it's just spread so fast when the grass is so dry. Spring fire crews arriving to this brush fire late Monday night. Fireworks still causing problems Tuesday. You have to be very, very careful. If you shoot off fireworks, make sure that when you finish, just douse them fully with water. And if you think you've doused them enough, douse them some more. Just another reminder, it is very dry out there. It doesn't take much to start a fire. We're live in spring tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.